Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Guilty Gear. Today, we're talking about Dizzy, an offensive zoner who can fill the screen with various kinds of projectiles and excels at attacking in tandem with those projectiles. I'm Carlos, and you're watching episode 19 of Guilty Bits. Dizzy, as her name may imply, is a very fragile character who also has problems escaping pressure. Her normals are slow and she can't really pressure the opponent, but what you can do is find an opening to summon a projectile. This can usually be done by either scoring a knockdown or running away and creating space between you and your opponent. Your main normals on the ground are standing K and crouching K, the latter of which leads to less damage but hits low. Both chain into standing H, which on hit can be confirmed to her icicle special to get a knockdown and then summon. When Standing H is blocked, it's safe to summon in most matchups, but since it leaves you in a big frame disadvantage, as soon as the projectile comes out, you'll be chased around it, so you must be ready to hold your ground. Crouching P doesn't lead to much if it connects, but it has speed, a good hitbox, and is a better ground normal to whiff. When jumping, Jump P is a fast and safe air-to-air -air if you can get close enough to use it. On hit, you can go into a small combo and end with a Jumping D, which sends the opponent high in the air and gives you enough time to summon. At further ranges, you can use jumping S and jumping H, but usually it's safest to simply run away using Dizzy's double air dash in order to get enough room to summon from afar. Her first projectile, the Bubble, is a vital part of this plan. It's her fastest and safest summon, and a purely defensive one, meant to keep the opponent away and give Dizzy time to summon other projectiles. The Bubble pops if Dizzy attacks it or after a set amount of time. This can lead to big damage, which makes the Bubble an effective scare tactic against chasers. The standard way to use it is via Tiger Knee Motion, then backdash and pop it with Dizzy's long range jumping S. This should give Dizzy enough time to summon, or if the opponent tries to jump above it, Dizzy can easily position herself right under them to use her great crouching S anti-air. If you want to pop the bubble safely without retreating, whiff a crouching P. Once Dizzy can get a chance to summon safely, she can use one of her other two types of projectiles, or even have both on screen at the same time to complement each other. The Fish is your main summon. When you do this special move, you can give it five different instructions depending on which buttons you press, and you can press a button again so it will commit them to two instructions consecutively. It's slow to start, but once it gets going it changes the momentum of the match heavily in Dizzy's favor. It can either bite the opponent to keep them in block stun, or shoot a laser that in plus R, if it hits an airborne opponent, causes a knockdown mid-screen or a wall stick in the corner, guaranteeing a combo afterwards. Dizzy's pressure and mix-up capabilities vastly increase when timing her attacks together with the fish. At mid-screen, she can use her double air dash to quickly pass the opponent, creating a tricky mix-up forcing the opponent to guess whether they need to block left or right. Her jumping down S hits right below her and is perfect for that role. If she does this right before the fish attacks, the fish will hit, allowing her to reposition afterwards and continue a combo. If you are using jumping down S from the front, make sure to chain it to a jumping H, which keeps the opponent in long stun, regardless of whether they hit or block, and allows you to land and continue attacking from higher up. After every combo, Dizzy usually ends with another knockdown and summons another fish right on top of the opponent. Attempts to attack Dizzy when she's near the fish are pretty futile, because the fish takes the hit for her and gets destroyed, allowing Dizzy to retaliate. This makes Dizzy's pressure with the fish scary and effective against possible reversals. Note that the fish has a cooldown timer. Dizzy cannot summon another fish until after the text above her super gauge disappears. The fish allows Dizzy to start attacking from point-blank range. When that happens, don't forget to add close S to your chains. It increases the damage potential on hit, and on block gives frame advantage. Both this move and standing K can be jump cancelled on block, which leads to more pressure and mix-ups with the fish's cover. Dizzy finds another vital tool in her ground throw. Its range is one of the best in the game, and when combined with Dizzy having the fastest starting dash and the fish's protection, it makes Dizzy one of the most effective tick throwers in Guilty Gear. It leads to a small combo and a knockdown for more Okizemi. Dizzy's spike is her secondary offensive projectile. She relies on it while the fish is on cooldown, or uses it right after the fish in order to cover a different angle and prevent the opponent from jumping over the fish. Dizzy does an upwards attack that creates a spike, which then travels fast towards the opponent's current location. 
Also, the button can be held down to delay the spike's release. This is a good defensive tool because you can release the button and have the spike attack while Dizzy is busy blocking, and the spike will be active as long as you don't get hit. Dizzy can apply most of the fish-related pressure and mix-ups with the spike as well, or you can simply use it to cover you as you summon a fish. The new Force Break version of the spike is really good. It's fast, puts the opponent in a lot of block stun, and can be put on screen alongside the regular spike, so it covers holes in Dizzy's space control while the fish is on cooldown. But generally, you want to spend your super meter for faultless defense to keep opponents away as much as possible. As always, if you have any questions, please leave us a comment below. And if you like what you've seen, please take a look at our other videos and subscribe for more character guides like this. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Guilty Bits.